We briefly discussed tree-based and hash-based indexing earlier. Then we mentioned that an index structure needs to respond to our needs of efficiency in helping us perform sorted scans, finding query data, as well as accommodating effective insertion and deletion of updates in the index structure. We also mentioned that an index file is an auxiliary file containing search keys and data entries that point to the data records in the original data file. A general format of an index file is shown in the figure. It consists of pairs of pointers and keys, where P0, P1 to PM are the pointers, and K1, K2 to KM denote the search keys. Index file is much smaller than the data file because for each data record, it only has a data entry, which is a pointer to that data record, which is usually much larger. So searching in the index file and then pulling up the pages that contain the data records has a lower cost. However, index files could still be fairly large. And solutions like keeping the file sorted and performing a binary search to find the key in this situation is still fairly expensive. This motivates using a tree structure for the index. In tree-based indexing, the leave nodes contain data entries. The non-leave nodes contain index entries that are used to direct the search for the data entries in the leaf nodes in traversal from root to leaves. Following upon your textbook, we will introduce index sequential access method and B plus trees for tree-based indexing. We will then focus on exploring B plus three operations. And at the end of this module, we will also briefly explore additional index structures. In tree-based indexing, data entries are arranged in a sorted order using a tree structure. Each node of the tree has M entries. Entries are data entries at the leaf nodes and index entries at middle nodes. As you can remember, data entry contains the search key and the pointer to the record for that search key. Index entry contains a search key and a pointer to the index structure entry to direct the search for the desired data. The tree node that we see here is using all entries. In B plus trees, as we will see shortly, each node has M entries where M is between D and 2D, where D is called the order of the tree. This means basically that the tree structure always should be half full. The only note that this equation does not need to hold for is the root. At the root, m could be any number greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 2d. The leaf nodes of the tree will have similar format to the non-leaf nodes. Remember we said that the format of the data entry in index file is search key and pointer to data record. This pointer in the non-leaf nodes will be used to point to other tree nodes instead. Again, this is called index entry. Therefore, the non-leaf nodes will have M entries and M plus one pointers. Average number of children for non-leave nodes is called fanout. Remember that we use this number in estimating cost of operations. Search as a start from the root and contents of middle nodes help direct the search to appropriate leave nodes in the tree. The length of the path from root to leaf is called height of the search tree. In practice, Fanout could be more than 100. This means that a tree of height 4 has millions of leaf pages. Data entries at the leaf level can have different structures. B plus trees, the most commonly used form of tree-based indexes, 
have a structure similar to that depicted in the figure. Index sequential access method uses tree-based structure. Leaf nodes contain the data entries. Insert, delete, and search are straightforward. Starting search at the root, following the pointers, and performing the operation at the page indicated by the leaf node. For a range selection, this would be the same procedure. Then, starting at the beginning leaf node, the pages will be retrieved sequentially. ISAM is a static, except for its overflow pages. Overflow pages, shown here by light blue, are linked to the leaf pages holding the data entries. The structure is a static. So, in case of additional inserts, when there is no space in the leaf pages, they will be added as chained overflow pages to the leaf data entry pages. Since the tree structure is static, the overflow pages might get very long. The length of these chains will affect the cost of the consequent operations. One way to prevent this is to start at the low page occupancy.